In this video, we'll be going over alerts. Alerts are a useful way to receive a notification when a particular event has occurred in MotiveWave. And this could be as simple as a price for a particular instrument has been reached or a trend line has been crossed. And there are more advanced examples which include comparing values from different studies. Now, active alerts can be managed centrally from the alerts panel in the console, as you can see here. And this is included by default on the home page with MotiveWave. Now, you can add an alerts panel anywhere else in the console from the Add tab. And from the list, we can select the Alerts option, and the panel will show. Now we're going to close this up. We're just going to focus on the one at the bottom here of the console. Let's go over some of the columns. So here we have the symbol. That would be the symbol that the alert is listed on. Presently, I have three alerts, two on the Euro Pound and one on the Euro Dollar. Next, we have the Replay column. And the Replay column will state uh, whether or not the alert is placed on a replay chart. In this case, they're not. They're actually on live charts, so we have N for no. If we did have the alert on a replay chart, there'd be a Y here for yes. Here in the third column, we have the name of the specific alert, the last value. Optionally, orders can be triggered from the alerts. We also have expiry date and whether or not it's been activated. From the chart column, we can click on the blue chart button and that will bring up the chart of where the alert is listed. Let's try Euro Dollar. And you'll notice here that the Euro Dollar chart opens, and we now see the alert here listed on the chart. Clicking on C will cancel that specific alert. We also have some icons here in the upper right hand corner. As you can see, the first icon here brings up the alert history window. Now, we don't have any history at the moment, but this is what the alert history window will look like. Uh, as far as alert history, we also have a history tab here. Again, it's empty. We don't have any uh, history of alerts being triggered at this moment. We also have here the option to create an alert by clicking on this icon. You can also create an alert by right-clicking on the price axis and then selecting Create Alert. We also have the ability to select a specific alert and edit it. We can also cancel all alerts by clicking the cancel all alerts icon and if we have any historical alert data we can clear the historical alert data by clicking on the double trash can icon. There are a few type of alerts. The first type of alert is price alert and this is the simplest type of alert and it does not require a chart in order to execute. It will be triggered by the bid or ask or last price of an instrument. Now, price alerts can be created directly from the alerts panel, as I mentioned before, by clicking on the Create Alert icon, which brings up the Create Alert dialog window, or again, as mentioned before, by right-clicking on the price axis and then creating Alert. And the alert now shows, and it is now listed here in our alert list. Now, the second type of alert is a study alert. And alerts can be based on values that are generated as part of the study. And these type of alerts execute in the context of a chart and require the chart to be open in order to be active. So in other words, if you have any studies on a chart and you close that chart, in this case, this chart is not considered closed. It's in the background, but it's still running. But if I were to place a study here, let's say MACD, And now if I right click on the axis and select create alert, I have some conditions here to create the alert. And if I click OK, I now see the alert listed here. In order for MotorWave to keep track of this, it needs to have the chart open so that as the study calculates, MotorWave can then determine whether or not an alert gets triggered. Now the third type of alert is a component alert and some components can be used to generate alerts. For example, you can create an alert for when a moving average crosses a trend line. So we can first plot a trend line. Let's say from here to that low there. Now we can also place the moving average here on the chart. Now we can right click on the trend line, select create alert, 
And then under conditions, select SMA, crosses a trend line, we click OK. And we now have the alert based on a study condition along with a component. Now we will be getting into more detail in regards to price alerts, study alerts, and component-based alerts in other videos, so you can refer to those for further details. That's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.